So today we're going to do an air fryer dinner in less than 10 minutes and it's going to be something not fancy whatsoever. It's going to be from like dried spices or dried herbs that I got in my kitchen cabinet. Just something that anybody can make real quick and feed two to four people. I don't know, I could feed more if I had to. So the first thing we do is turn the oven on. We're going 350, we're going convection bake. And we're trying to move on. We're gonna preheat that up. Okay. Here we have the chicken. I'm rinsing all the slime off of it. I mean, big piece of fat. I'm gonna hurt it. I'm just trim that off. I don't want my chicken all watery. You gotta dry it off. some of this Italian seasoning <clears throat> McCormick blend normally I wouldn't ever normally I do fresh herbs but for this video you know maybe somebody doesn't have time or doesn't have access to fresh herbs so we're gonna just do some shit whatever we got in the cabinet I want to also do some chili powder So whatever you have in the cabinet, I mean, it could be dried rosemary, oregano, whatever you have, you could do it. You could put, make it Mexican with like cumin and chili powder. You could put paprika. I bought pre-peeled garlic. I'm just gonna smash it and chop it up the best that I can. smear that on top. Actually yesterday I went to make soup and I had fresh green onions and I forgot to put them in the soup. So these green onions have been on the counter all night but we're going to use them. I'm just going to pack them on top. Maybe you don't have that. You don't have to put this. You can do this with almost any herbs or anything that you have around your house. So we're going to do the potato. I'm going to wash it. I was just gonna wash potato, but it's kind of green. You're not supposed to eat the green on the outside of potato, so I had to peel it on the fly. I'm gonna try and slice these kind of thin. Now, what I really recommend is make French fries, but then you gotta blanch it first. You gotta cook it. Anytime I cook a, like fried potatoes, it's better if you cook it in water first. And on this one, I'm trying to do something in under 10 minutes, so this is what we get. Got some mushrooms. Just gonna, oh, quarter of the mushrooms. Not too worried about the cut on these. The mushrooms cut cook fast. We got some bell pepper going in. We got some onion. Salt it up. What's the timer on, baby girl? Seven minutes, 30 seconds. Oh, oh, oh. We're gonna do the Italian herbs. This is like typically what we'd eat. We had this two nights ago and I thought it'd be a cool video because I wanted to make it quick and fast and be done with it. Oh, man. Let's go ahead and do some more of the garlic action. I'm not much up on vegetables, so if I'm gonna eat vegetables, I need to have garlic and stuff. This is not the manufactured recommendation of how to use this thing, but I don't care, this is what we do. Just gonna hold all of this stuff. And with that, I'd like to have the potatoes on the bottom so that they, the potatoes are gonna be the toughest to cook. Okay. What's the timer at, baby girl? 10 minutes 42. 
10 minutes what? 42. So I'm a little bit behind, but basically that's 10 minutes of prep. Zero in on that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the vegetables on the bottom. This really isn't meant to be done like this, but all the chicken grease too is going to fall down on the vegetables and help it cook. So there that is, and the timer's at 20 minutes. So zero in on this. So we got we had it preheated. Remember, I preheated at the beginning of the video, 350, and we're at 20 minutes. That's kind of it. So I'm gonna leave it in there for 20 minutes. At 10 minutes mark or 15 minute mark, it would be kind of cool if you pulled it out and flipped the potatoes over. Enjoy. Okay, so we're at like eight minutes left. Woo, look at that. Take a look. So there is some like water as well here. Stirred it around a little bit. Okay, let's go again. Come on in again. Maybe, it depends if I cut it open and the chicken's burnt to hell. No, it's not gonna be on you. <laughs> Whoa, there it is, finally. Okay. Ooh, that's a hot puppy. Why don't you get tongs? So. So now the real moment of truth is cutting open the chicken. Dun, 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 dun. So I need to see what it's like up here in the fat part. Come zero in on this. So it's cooked. You see it's juicy, but there's no, it's not like translucent. It's not like there's a little bit there that maybe could be cooked a little longer. Let's look at this end right there. Bam. So there's the finished plate. So, this is my buddy Jasper. Say hi, Jasper. Hi. Grab it with your fingers, or is it too hot? Can you eat that? Yeah, it's, it's just there's a piece of juice running down there. Yeah, yeah, well, eat it. My hands right now. Yeah, go ahead and eat it. Is it good or no good? It's pretty good, actually. <laughs> actually? What the hell do you think was going to happen? <clears throat> do you like mushrooms? Yeah. You want to try a mushroom? Here, grab that mushroom. All right, let's see. What do you think? Does it need salt? Is it enough salt? Is it seasoned properly? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, I want to try a potato. So we're just like touching the food? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's family dinner. Why did that smell Oh, that's like... great. Mm -hmm. All right, try some chicken you want. I only, <laughs> I've always... Mmm, yummy. Right? It's juicy. Mm. That's a secret to air fryer. Can I get some 